Amid heightened tensions with China, along the line of actual control, India successfully carried out the night trials of the nuclear-capable, intercontinental ballistic missile, Agni-5 on Thursday, that is on December 15, 2022. The indigenous missile was tested at a defense installation, on Abdul Kalam Island, off the coast of Odisha, by the Defense Research and Development Organization. This weapon has a high degree of accuracy, and can hit targets up to 5,000 to 5,500 kilometers, with a full payload, that is, 1.5 tons. It can reach an exceptional Mach 24 speed, which is 29,401 km per hour. Agni 5 uses a three-stage solid-fueled engine. It is road mobile, and can be transported by a truck, and launched via a canister. The test was conducted to see, whether the Agni 5 missile's range could be increased, if necessary. Given that it may be used, with multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle, the nuclear-capable Agni-5 missile, is a potent addition to India's defense capability. Agni-5's capability will provide India, with much-needed deterrence, against external threats. The night trials took place, a few days after a fight broke out, between Chinese and Indian forces, along the line of actual control, in Arunachal Pradesh. Although, there have been reports of many wounded troops on both sides, neither army has confirmed any fatalities. Last year, China voiced its worry about India's launch of an intercontinental ballistic missile by referencing Resolution 1172 of the United Nations Security Council. The resolution was passed in the wake of India's nuclear testing in 1998. India had issued a notum or warning to airmen in order to warn of the intended test firing of a long-range missile. Why night trials of a weapon system is necessary the purpose of a night trial of a weapon system, such as an air-to-ground missile, a ballistic missile, or a weaponized drone, is to determine whether or not the system has the ability to achieve a circular error probability of 3 meters, or less. The system must also be capable of independent, reliable, and all-weather delivery, whether it be during the day or at night. They should be impervious to jamming, and should not be completely reliant on any system based on the ground, in the air, or in space. If they are, then they will be susceptible to any kind of data blanking carried out by the adversary. They should be able to navigate independently from the moment of release until the moment of impact. But they should also have the fallback option of having a pilot in the loop control them during the latter phases. The weapons should be able to be launched and controlled from separate platforms. And their trajectories should be able to be shaped to accommodate a variety of different sorts of targets. It is necessary for the warheads to be interchangeable, so that they may be adapted to the many sorts of targets, such as those that are of the blast penetration type, the pre-fragmented type, the pure kinetic energy or boosted penetration type, or the general purpose type. In the past two decades, India has developed and held successful trials of Agni-1, Agni-2, Agni-3, Agni-4 and Agni-5 missiles. Notably, India is also working on Agni-6 which will be capable of being launched from submarines, as well as from land, and will have a strike range of 8,000 to 10,000 kilometers.